All right, so this is Javier Benson. Javier Benson has been fighting a fight with the local police department in Springfield, Missouri. And I just thought his story would be interesting to tell. Um, so, Javier, why do you think that um, you need to fight this fight against the city of Springfield, Missouri? Well, public corruption is the main thing. Uh, I've been arrested various times when I shouldn't have been arrested, really. Um, I was once a guard with the city of Springfield. Officer of the courts. And now all of a sudden, I am a, I am basically their menace. Okay, so how much of, like, how long have you been fighting this fight against the city? The last three years. Okay. How long do you plan to continue to fight? As long as it take. So what is, what is your outcome? What kind of outcome you're looking for? My outcome eventually is to see the city government reform. Those that's in them high places be put in, be put to shame. Okay, so. Um, I did hear a couple people, and they were different people. Like, there was a guy at the VA, he was African American, and he said he was talking about the corruption of the city officials. Then I met a white guy at the bus stop, a little cutie, and he was saying that he came on a vacation from Hawaii. Um, so he said, you come to Springfield, you come to vac come on vacation and leave on probation. And so it's something very minor that he got three years of probation for, and he can't even go back to Hawaii. So that's interesting. Um, so what is... What is... Um, I don't know. I guess I I want to know the if you say that you're going to fight these people for however long it takes um and the outcome is to basically expose these people then I guess I want to know um what if it causes you more damage than good in the long run? Like, you, are you willing to take the damage? Are you willing to be their collateral damage? Well, I can't say collateral damage, but with me knowing the fact that, that I'm not the only one to actually see a lot of the things there's more damage being done now behind corruption. I mean, here there's Green County themselves wanting to hold any municipal um, cases. So, and then as far as the um, probation thing, I've, I've experienced the unsupervised quote-unquote probation. So, they, well, they, just violate, they violate the rights. Playing devil's advocate here, somebody would say, well, why don't you just go somewhere else if you don't like Springfield? Devil's advocate. Somebody would say, well, you don't have to be here. Correct. And I basically heard um, white officers say that to um, African Americans here. And so, but my, last time I checked, we have we have free rights, this kind of constitutional rights. So we we supposed to be able to go anywhere in this country that we so desire, without any prejudice or any violations. 
I think we were talking earlier and you you kind of have been fighting it yourself. Um, why won't you just solicit an attorney to do this for you? Well, when I'm low income, um, yes, I'm a vet. I, and so I'm just now actually getting... Getting to, getting to actually um, understand it and information is actually just being exposed that I can see to actually seek into pro bono. So, okay. there's something I'm, I think I'm going to check into that. Right, yeah. They do have pro bono. Um, legal aid should be here. I don't know. I'm I'm from South Carolina. And they have legal aid there, which is pro bono cases. Um, but I I do, like I was telling you, I do believe that um, an attorney would be best suited because <clears throat> they know legalese. They know the right wording, the right documents to send and... You know, I, I I encourage you to just let the lawyers do what they do. Like I told you, if you you have a plumbing problem, I, I wouldn't suggest you get in there and, and start fixing the plumbing problems, call a plumber. Um, you have electrical problems, you call the electrician. Um, you have a law situation, I think it's best to call the attorneys as opposed to devoting because you do have to get back to work and you do have to make a living for yourself and if you are investing this type of time into fighting the local government then you're not going to be able to even just provide for yourself um so what is your where do you see yourself in five years thought about it, but honestly, hopefully I can have my business up and running the way I, the way I plan on it, um, without prejudice, um, with true justice, true equality, true due process of the law, um, and hopefully my boot camp, I really want to get started, so hopefully I can have it up and running and get some of the young people I, and get them in something suitable other than the um, boys and girls club. They boys and girls club here, and instead of them trying to send them to um, juvenile, give them some, give them a more structured, um, something more structured that'll help them. Yeah, and I think I may have in, encouraged you to do the boot camp as well today because, yeah, I I see a need for that and. That's something that the government wouldn't be able to take from you. Um, and, you know, I, I, so I, I, do, I do encourage you to invest in the youth. So, if you had, our last question would be, if you had any advice to give any one that is going just not even going through what you're going through but let's say just any advice that you would have um pertaining to someone who's suffered injustices from the law um local law officials um what kind of advice would you give a person that has suffered injustices? Well, at this point here, um, I would rally with others. That, I would actually try to rally with others that's been involved in things. Um, get a petition. Just to actually go, to actually get started. Um, I went. I would not seek help from right here in Springfield. Um, probably not even from the state, honestly. But which, but within getting the people together to form the petitions and and all that good, all that good stuff. Um, try to get get the word out 
more than likely the Washington D.C. Pro- Sip the um civil rights unit. Okay, okay, all right. So, I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.